Hey everybody, this is Jorik. I hope you're doing well, getting some coffee and enjoying your day. I want to talk to you about something that uh, was a little peculiar for us when we were moving from the United States over to Europe. We uh, currently live in Portugal and something that kind of caught us off guard when we were looking at apartments uh, in the city center is we, were, we weren't finding a laundry room and uh, so that was something that we were going, how are we going to do our laundry? So a realtor kind of laughed and said, well, don't really have laundry rooms here in uh, Europe, uh, but what they do have is washers. Okay, well, hmm. So if you have a washer, you kind of need to dry your clothes, so how do you dry your clothes? Uh, she said, well, you have lines uh, and you do it old school, like grandma used to. Uh, so I want to just tell you a little bit about what to look for uh, when you're thinking about property overseas, uh, especially in Europe and as well as Portugal, being in Europe. Um, something that if you're used to washer dryers, which most Americans are, it's going to be hard to find a property that's going to have both of those. Uh, you're going to have mostly properties that are going to have a washer. It's pretty rare to find one that is a washer dryer combo in one machine, although they're starting to pop up in stores. It's hard to find them in current properties. Um, so what you're going to find is washing machines and you'll have a line generally in the front of your apartment or in the back where you can hang clothes. So it's a little bit of new school, well, I'll say, you know, 40s, 50s technology of a washing machine and old school, like uh, grandma and great grandma used to do it, hanging stuff out on a line uh, and letting it air dry. Um, something to keep in mind, which is very unique uh, for living overseas and is a departure from what we're used to in the States, is where your washer is. Uh, generally, you have your own laundry room or a closet that has both the washer and dryer in it. Uh, sometimes people have them in their garages uh, or in the back patio area. Uh, over here in Europe, it's a little different. Um, they're in the bathroom, which is a little weird. Our bathroom's pretty small, so it couldn't fit uh, a washer. Uh, if uh, we tried to put one in, it just wouldn't work. So I want to show you really quick where our washer is. We're having a great conversation here in our kitchen, and most likely when you're looking at properties and you're wondering where stuff is, uh, you're going to find the washer is in the kitchen. So here, really quickly, I want to show you where our washer is. It's actually right next to our refrigerator. So this is something that takes a little getting used to because uh, you're usually used to a dishwasher, which we do have, um, but you're usually not seeing a washing machine in the kitchen. So it's a little weird, you know, as far as when you're doing laundry and trying to do dinner, uh, it's kind of an odd setting, but it's what much of Europe is used to. So as an American coming over, you have to get used to that as well. Uh, now there's also laundromats. Uh, we are probably close to within a 10 minute walk of two different laundromats. So if you wanted a washer and dryer, uh, you could do that. Uh, usually many of these apartments are not set up to where you could do a dryer just because there isn't ventilation. And that's the main reason why they don't have dryers in most city center apartments in any European city, especially here in Portugal. So just wanted to give you a little history of that as well as some insight when you're looking for property or if you're coming over and you're going, where's the laundry room, where's the dryer? Uh, it's a little different than what you're used to, but uh, that's cool. Different is very cool. Uh, and just one of the uh, unique things of living abroad. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please subscribe for more information and more videos like this talking about Portugal uh, travel when we can start traveling again. Uh, and have a great day. Take care.